I don't want to go much closer than that. I mean, I'm super close right now. There is no audible sound. The car is not telling me to brake. It's, it's got an upside down cone right there. It's lost the garbage. Well, there's the garbage pail there and I guess the hint of the garbage pail over there. But uh, this is a problem. Kathy, you, you, you're, uh, you look kind of funny there in the picture. Move, move around, do a little dance. Let me see if you can dance. You know, you're not, you're not raising your hands. All right, I'm gonna go forward one more time and I'm gonna put this forward here and let's see what happens. That's about a foot. Stop, stop, stop. Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where today we're gonna to be taking Kathy's Model Y, which has the newest version of the software that's got a lot more granularity around the surroundings. Uh, just, um, you know, right around the corner here, we're in South, South Norwalk, Connecticut, is the Sono uh, Mall, where Kathy, unfortunately, sort of, she hit her car, ran it into a little bit of a pole, very minor damage. We still haven't had, oh, there goes the train, Metro North. Oh boy, took that for many, many years. But uh, yeah, so so she slammed into the pole. No, she just kissed it. And um, and what we want to do is recreate what it looks like now with this newest software version. It's got a lot more granularity. I just want to see if that's really something that will help. Um, in the meantime, be careful around concrete poles. For those of you who haven't seen the video that I put up, which uh, which we really recreated what happened to her when she hit the pole. You should, I'll put that in the description below. Check that out. But uh, let's go see if this new software version in this car really helps things. Let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, this is my wife Kathy's 2023 Model Y. This is a long range. We uh, did not luckily get the 4680 cells. We got the 2170 Panasonic cells. Uh, 19 inch wheels, white interior. This is, uh, this is Kathy's daily driver. Great car. And uh, we've got both Kathy and Bailey with us here today. And uh, we're gonna go recreate right up the road here, the pole incident that we call it. And there she is. All right, Kathy. So let's, uh, we're right around the corner from the Sono Mall. Maybe you could set the stage as to what happened when you uh, you and Katie were uh, shopping and... You know this is a very sore subject for me. And yeah. I really did not want to come to recreate this video. Well, here's the thing. I don't blame you. Because I feel really badly I know. a little, I know. little blemish. I, I understand. Gun. And I don't blame you, okay? Because Tesla, in my opinion, cheaped out, took away these sensors, and not only should they have alerted you that there was something there, but they should have actually applied the brakes and stopped you from hitting it. Yeah, but no. And and they don't do that. And a lot of less more you know less expensive cars do that. So you know one of the things Kathy noticed the other day was she got a uh, a new software release in her car, and she said, Dave, the the screen there's some cool graphics. There's got like a lot yeah. of cool graphics, um, and it looks a lot different. And, you know, I'm wondering, she said, um, if, if that would have saved me, if that would have helped. Right. And, and, uh, and I don't know if saved you is the right way well, to say it, but saved my baby here. Saved, saved, yeah. You know. So, so what we decided to do, where am I? Here we are. Um, was to come back over here to the Sono mall and recreate this and see if in fact it if would any be warning something would have would it would have it would have been a little bit different there's now we're not expecting the car to break or anything like no, that interactively no, but i don't even think it beeped at me that i was so close to yeah it. It no was, I, it was a center pillar uh in in the underground parking garage yeah and i touched it let me cut to right now let me cut to um, my other video where I recreated what Kathy and it did not beep. It didn't be, it didn't show anything. So I, I truly believe it was not your fault. Yeah, Cause you did come after. To yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It. I'm going to show that right here. Oh, okay. So let's cut to that right now. Okay. So now here we are 
at the Sono Collection, and you can see that these metal posts are here. Now, this is not the exact spot that Kathy was in. She was downstairs a couple of uh, levels below, but it's super busy here today. So I came up here to the fourth floor, and I'm just gonna try and reenact exactly what happened. So as I get closer to this, to this um, purple post, I want you to keep an eye on what this is doing over here. And, and it gives some interesting indications. Now keep in mind that the camera is up here that is actually looking at that post and there's a solid wall behind it. And the question is, is the camera reading the wall or is it able to distinguish that metal post right there? And so let's look at it and see what it does. You'll see it, it sees two cones here. It sees a garbage pail here and a garbage pail there, which is actually accurate. And it sees a cone here and a cone there, but they're actually metal posts. So this is actually quite interesting to me. So as I pull up towards the metal post, let's see what happens. All right, I'm pretty far away still. Now we're starting to get, all right. Now it's telling me that I am 30 inches, 28 to 30 inches away from that metal post. It said 30 inches, 30 inches. I mean, that's a good six feet away. So that is extremely inaccurate. It's telling me we're 30 inches away from that metal post. Mm, not good, not good. All right, let's get back in and see what happens. Now it's beeping at me, 26 inches, 28 inches, 24 inches. Now it doesn't say anything except it kind of sees that there's a cone, garbage pail, another cone and another garbage pail. You can see that there, but it's not indicating that I am supposed to stop. And as I keep going and keep inching up, let's see what happens. I don't want to hit it again. Okay, now, what is that there? The cone just turned upside down but it's not, oh, look at that. It's it's sort of going back and forth. Let me just inch up just a little bit more. Okay, now you can see that the cones went upside down, but there's no audible sound. Now let's see how close we are. Let's see how close we are. So there was no, so there was no audible indication that we're super close to anything here. And you can see that we're about, this is about a foot away. And you can see where, hopefully you can see where, yeah, you can see where it got bent right here. It was a very tiny little tap, but um, yeah, you can see the hump in it right there. So again, this was not the exact spot it happened, but I'm just showing you. Now I'm gonna go a little bit closer. I'm gonna inch up just a little bit more and see if we get any additional indicators. All right. I hope I don't hit this thing. Just a little. I don't really wanna go much closer, but there is no audible indication. Now what you can see here is you can see this yellow line going up and around like that. And I'm gonna see how close we are to that pole right now. This, my friends, is a problem with this vision-only system. Well, we're probably eight inches, eight inches away. I'm gonna go a little closer and see what happens. Just a little bit closer. Let's see. I don't wanna go much closer than that. I mean, I'm super close right now. There is no audible sound. The car is not telling me to brake. It's, it's got an upside down cone right there. It's lost the gar. Well, there's the garbage pail there and I guess the hint of the garbage pail over there. But uh, this is a problem. This is a real problem. Now I inched up just a little bit more. Let me see how close I am. 
I'm not gonna go any closer. I don't wanna damage it anymore. But you can see what the problem is here. This car is not telling you to stop and we're that close to a post. You gotta be really careful, folks, really careful. All right, so here we are about to enter into the danger zone. <laughs> Right? The danger zone. Very, very, very careful. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway. So I'll show you. I know exactly where it was. All right. You're going to show me where it was because when I recreated it, it was, it was so hectic here. Well, I, it's, yeah. It's I, always, I, so I, I'm, I'm on the Nordstrom side. I'm not sure which entrance you went into, but go over by Nordstrom side, okay. which I don't think is this Hold side. on. Don't come out. Right. Thank you. All right. Let me go over here. I'm going to go up. Were you on this no, level? No, always not. I don't know. I am not this color. No, I come in on a different entrance. Okay. But I'll find it. I feel like I think I might have been on this orange level over here, but it's right next to Nordstrom's. Well, you know what? You know what's not important? It doesn't really it's matter. Exactly I which pole. I'm going to show you which pole. I'm going to show you the pole that I went to. Okay. And let's at least use that as the control. That's fine. All these yellow yeah, poles. Yeah, all these yellow poles are the same, except the one, the pole that... I used was a purple pole, I believe. Now I'm going to go over here and check it out. Mine Bailey, was yellow. Yours was yellow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it. I don't think the color really matters that much. Oh, oh um. Yes, Bailey. All right. I'm going to find this pole. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're in the spot. Oh my gosh! Look at this big truck. Come on, guy. Go ahead, Mario. Mario. Mario's coffee food truck. Don't get another boo boo in my car. I'm I don't not. like coming here. <laughs> Wait, let me get that straight. You don't like going to the mall? No. You I, are the perfect wife. I don't enjoy the craziness of underground parking. I see. Well, All right, go around. This is not underground. We're above ground. Oh, well, maybe we're on the wrong level. We're going up. Uh, go to that the wall. The wall over there. Go over there. Okay. Straight ahead. Yeah. And go down. And all right. Maybe this wasn't it. I don't see those poles. <laughs> all right. So here we are. We we have found the yellow poles, over which there. are over there. Yeah. Um, but this is actually the exact spot that you did that I came and on. and did the. Uh, analysis on the last time right, so, let's so see. i'm going to see what happens here now what i want to do is i want to shift the camera to this to the screen in the center and then we're going to recreate the graphics and you can see the difference here because i think it's it is quite quite a bit different so let's do that all right so what you can see is garbage pail garbage pail and you got these four posts. These are the purple posts. These are the, this is the same exact spot that I was in the last time. What's really super cool here with this new graphic is look at the detail that you can see here. I mean, this is insane. Behind us, you can see, like if I go into reverse here, look, do you see this over here? That little graphic sure. right there? And then look how it recreates that graphic here and all this is vision based. This is completely vision based. So you can you can see everything that that's going on. There is a car parked over to the left there and you can see the uh, the garbage pail there. Now as we start moving forward, let's see what happens here with this visual. And and I'm going to I'm going to keep going and just stay right on this. Oh, Zoom in on know. that. All right? And now you can see we're getting an audible stop. That's really good. You see that? It says stop. Now, if the last time I did it, what I recall was it did say stop again, uh, right up about the same spot. But then as I inched closer, but was there an audible? There's there's more audibles going on here. There's a lot more. That's, I did not hear that the last time. That is substantially better. Much better. Now, if you don't mind, Kathy, would you be able to get out and just tell me how close I am to that pole? And um, and then I, I just tell me how, how much closer I can get to it. This is considerably better in terms of, it's, it's a solid foot. 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like, you know, like we used to do with the snowmobile trailer with your hands. Yeah, all right, tape that, that's good. Hey, could you shut this door? I can't reach it. All right, good. All right, yeah, I'm gonna roll down the window here. All right, I'm rolling down both the windows. All right, and I'm in, I'm in drive. I still have a stop here, and I'm gonna keep going. Audible. How close am I? Six inches. Six inches. All right. Well, the car is beeping at me and telling me to stop. And what I would say is that is without a doubt better than what it did. Let me back up just a uh, just another time here, and so we can kind of see the graphic and what it looks like. I would say, folks, that is much better. Look at that, Kathy. Kathy, you. You you're uh, you look kind of funny there in the picture. Move move around. Do a little dance. Let me see if you can dance. You know you're not you're not raising your hands. All right, I'm gonna go forward one more time, and I'm gonna put this forward here, and let's see what happens. Let's see. We're getting a stop. Oh look at that! The pole is turned yellow now. How far am I away? Two feet. Two feet. Okay. It's beeping at me. It's beeping at me. About a foot. About a foot. It's still saying stop. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> How close am I? Three inches. Three inches. All right. Let me get out and check this out. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty close. That is pretty close. Well, I would say tremendously better now. Tesla has absolutely improved the uh yeah they've definitely improved this kath what do you think oh much better yeah i mean you were you were here the last time did it even warn you not that i recall yeah so not that i recall at all. all right so you're giving this uh I, um this is a major improvement major improvement now what would even be better is if the car stops and brakes Right. As opposed to just giving Relying you the audible and the visual. Because if I didn't just yell at you, and I know you were going super slow, but you know, like if you look at the visual, you can't really tell you're only three inches away. Right. You know, but that's that, right. It did give a lot more war warnings than right. we had. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, Kathy, I think this was a really good experiment, and I'm happy that you're now um, able to be a lot more familiar with this new software that's in a car. What are your thoughts? I'm very happy that we actually did come to redo the experience uh, because now I can see a remarkable improvement Tesla has done to that system where you have more more controls and to see how close you are to something. There were lights, there was beeping, there was stop. And the right? graphic the graphic looks amazing. Even it's like the, the lines in the road, like, uh, you know, back there um, where you see all the lines and it's so much more improved. Yeah. I, I would say they're moving in the right direction. This is a hint of what's to come with FSD 12, um, which is going to be out soon. A lot of the graphics, I think this is a little bit of a precursor to what we're going to start seeing. That would be nice. And so I think we have to keep our eyes on this. So I'm really glad that you took the time to come over here and recreate this. And okay. I would say it's much better. So anyway, thanks again, everyone, for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave. Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. For, uh, for doing this. I think we're helping people. Be careful with your Ys and 3s and Ss and Xs out there and Cybertrucks? I don't even know. I'd have to see. Cybertruck, do you know, still doesn't even have autopilot. It's crazy. Uh, a lot of people. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.